The most fundamental of all our legal instrument is, is our legal instrument. The murder of all the others provides it in section one, subsection two, that the power of our geographical entity resides in the people from whom all the organs of government drive their authority and in whose name and for whose welfare and prosperity the powers are to be exercised. And I believe Solo and his call did it in the spirit of their constitutional right to pursue for justice electoral reforms. The word country and republic are not necessarily interchangeable. It is because in a country there are always people. The others, uh, there are always people. We think their sovereignty is more than the other. Why do we celebrate today? It is known to many that few members of United Democratic Party came out peacefully demonstrating from Bambo to Westfield. They were agitating for a level ground field. This group of people were led by noble Solo Sunday. They were all nobles in their quest for democratic change. My fellow countrymen and women, we are to celebrate them and praise them for their, bra for their bravery deeds. Solo Sunday, Solo Kuruma, Ram Marong, and, and others will never be forgotten in the history of the Gambia. And more genuine Gambians are with us in spirit to continue the struggle. Ladies and gentlemen, the victims, we are right, and they will be ever remembered in the history of our motherland. We will continue to salute all the victims of 10th April, 10th and 11th April, student massacre, 14th and 16th April, and 9th May victims. We can proudly say, without you, the democratic change would not have happened. We give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Let's praise these people. Let's celebrate them. They deserve to be celebrated. The party leader and the executive, may you live long. Because when these people were arrested, you also came out with the executive to continue their mission. And the mission was accomplished. But we need more to do, ladies and gentlemen. My fellow countrymen and women, let us not give up in our struggle for a better Gambia. A Gambia where we will not be judged by our ethnic or origin or region, but our deeds. These had ever been manifested by all the victims who took part in the struggle. The freedom we are enjoying is not a gift was a great sacrifice. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, I quote, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. The time is always right to do what is right. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, greatness can be bought. Greatness can be bought, but earned through a service. And they have earned it. They have done a service to this nation. So we are right to be here today. In conclusion, my comrades, let us be law-abiding and let us be non-violent. We can make it without violence. One can safely conclude that Solo and Co. believe in the principle of non-violent of Muhammad Gandhi. I want to thank you all on behalf of the great youth wing of, um, of United Democratic Party for gracing this occasion with us. Thank you. You are all for formally welcome to the gathering. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we go further, I would like to call son of Solo Sunday, Mohammed, to speak on behalf of the family. Mohammed Sunday, you are welcome on stage. I'm right. Uh, good morning, because it's morning, and I must say I am very much honored to speak here today on behalf of my family and also on behalf of the Solo Sending Foundation. As a partner to this commemoration, 
we are pleased to receive such a great crowd in honoring the great sacrifices of the great Langmarongs and the great Solo Sandangs and the great Nogonjais and Fatu Kamaras who might not be with us today here probably because some of them still have great grave illnesses that they are suffering from and some of whom are not with us but their families are here and we recognize all of your presences and we want to say thank you very much for being here and celebrating or commemorating this day with us. In addition to that, on behalf of my family, I want to thank the executive of the United Party for coming together with us to make this day such a success. But I also want to say that this day has been set aside by my family and the Solo Sending Foundation since 2017, which was the inception of the Solo Sending Freedom Work. And today, it has grown bigger and wider, and we expect it to grow more, because this call is no other call than a call of democracy, a call of honoring those gallant men and women who sacrificed in the face of brutality and murder their lives to see us today gather in this manner in a way that we do not get dispersed and we do not get beaten. Let's all put our hands together, if necessary, for these gallant men and women. And I want to say, I mean, the Solo Sending Freedom work is a source of closure to my family and to all other families. Because this is a day that we believe is a way of, I mean, kicking aside the kind of stigma that comes with having to have your family member stand against impunity, which, you know, in some way, some people believe is not right. But seeing you today here, being in solidarity with all of us, gives me more courage and actually gives great closure to my family because of what it means, you know, to have people realize, I mean, your efforts and the efforts of all those that participated, you know, in, in, in uprooting the, fruit, um, the roots of dictatorship in this country. And I also want to say that on behalf of my family, we see this day as a day of closure, a day of somber reflection on I mean, the day that we, we, we lost a breadwinner. And we want this day to be kept in remembrance of all of these people in the most genuine ways so that we keep remembering them in genuine ways and we do not do this overly or we do not express these things I mean in ways which it would not embrace I mean the greater population of uh, population of the Gambian people so I would keep this short and thank all of you for being here and I want to say that we are observing this day as a national day not only as a day of a particular group, but I, I am sure by the indications that we see here that this day is a national day. It's not a day of one side, it's not a day of one group. All Gambians should make it verily look like an objective, I mean, a responsibility to come out and grace this day and make sure we remember this gallant men and women because they put their lives on the lines to see that we get free, that there's no more dictatorship in this country. And whoever is enjoying this today should 
take this as a duty to be outside here and celebrate or commemorate this day. So I thank you all for being here and for being in solidarity with us as a family. We are very much honored that we have people supporting us in this manner and we want this to continue so that we continue celebrating the legacies of all these people in the most genuine ways. I thank you all for your presence is here. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Mohammed Sande. Uh, Badi Mulu, uh, Ko Nafali Nyami, Bimulum Balati, uh, Lumulamu Mia Long, uh, from the Mirror Samba Nabadi Mulukang, Melia Long, Ifintita Jang, Pruka Nimbanko, uh, Bankoya Fansoto, uh, Solo Kuruman, your Solo Sande, your Anim Victim Model Melfan Belurin Jang. Uh, Lafta Badi Mulimi understand Solo La Fata. But solo dam mata kulo kono. Ni aje nka vo solo solo kuoku kuoka talarale. But ni manke solo sandi lungo dam mati. Ni mu Gambia bila lungo leti ni mu lungo leti miliyalo momo na na tara ibata ibata da ya aje mbele mara lo kono. Ala dictator sip kono wole la lungo mubiti. Andu na ni nyato jangi be kafu ba ya ofana na la kafu mulebe jamel mu victim multi be konton na be jaya ramba tende letu ofana na ko na tulinte binta tara jang. So watu mbadi wole mbele siring. Suman Boki Wolofi, they they best la best bohame nyun dun komu safate sun tarik Gambia. They moi best bohame solo akhari tami agno hame den taho purjis democracy mudoh Gambia fi jenon gaitelen dorlen tejlen solo fof la day. Dafa agno hame comfort mata jawara nyungi dunda deun but sona nen so nyom tami nyunge nyunge fatal ni best be best be moi victimsi. Nekut solo rek, nekut nyu ganyu, nekut nyu ame nyun yep gamyen la. Whether you know it or not, we all suffered in the struggle. So today is a day that we have to remember each and everybody who suffered, whether mentally, physically, psychologically, and all the calicalis. We have to acknowledge them. Thank you. We may now call um, Kafu Ubayo, the leader of the victim, to come and make a statement. Kafu, you're welcome. Bismillah. Nani jam apa? Nai jam apa? Okay, amu tak dulu. Baik sura. Bang, assalamualaikum kami alul. Mal be kontrol na alton al kontrol la. Bena pinta ba kontrol na mimu arab parosi. Bena victimol panam be be kontrol na. Itu ni kontrol la. Okay, mbele landa fasa ba mimi landa fasa ba di landa fasho ni aje balaro fana fasa mimi balema wali. Olo na kap na pati olo na na pati ni atongo dini mu alaj usen mu kunda daboti. Ba kontrol na kwenye pepe pepe pepe. Mbele tani la jambi ano lako kumosiata kumosiata alenga nyoo bunya alenga nyoo bunya ni bunya banta dorong ati pesi hala. Alenga nyo bunya, okay. Sa imbe mi fula mole, dol bichi mole. Al sa lungo, ni ya jeb kambia bimo, mo mindi ya teba fula, mindi ya teba fula. Ala ni bichi mole. Fourteen April, sixteen April, May nine. Dol e kambia bodi dinko kono. Kunu, kunu kambia mo buka diamu. Ni pe diamu hani ni ila muso bi diwa la bungo ni mo jema milon dorong. Isa jede. Pas tu fais mon fala le bien confondé ma long. Moi je suis mon lien, je suis le guide au Kefara. Du mal le robot. 14 April, 16 April, May 9. Année n'a rien à quel nom. Il y a eu ce n'est pas bon. Bon, mais il faut aller. Allez, on a eu un bon. Parce que je suis un collègue qui m'a fait. Et quand il m'a dit que c'est un bon. Et je m'en suis 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 un bon. Alors, on a eu un bon. On a eu un bon. On a eu un bon. Gambia kwa mindi arimi ya bafola, pende fola jala nitole wiki molo. Mena kumoda nza, tumarodi ya mulal besiari wa salamu. Abaraka, alia kieba alijele. Nyi kieba alile strogu loke, fo Gambia ya fansoto. Wata na alo nsayi, fundi njao mbezi, lorinja. Bi nye jangibi ya fundi njao lisiata. Wata fundi njao lu, 
Allah luo fele kebal wali nyanta mengkele yakele Leo bote jie Mbe patiola assistant administrative secretary Alaji esdabo kumandila Ay kumandim fai Molkam binyo lundu Alaji esdabo you welcome Assalamu alaikum Badi ngolo men benta jang Kabo Victim sola kia mano la kafu bayo la Anala molu Kanabula Solo Sandem Foundation Ani Solo Sandem Family Molu Kanabula United Democratic Party La Party Leader La Ani UDP La Executive Molu Kanabula Madam Fatumata Jallo Tambajang Meya Longko Birinyung Konyin Keta Ailod La Bata Kitiola Wato Nyin Kaje Ko Tonya e sabatin di bor alala la nyinoto o manake Mbalbe tendula mbal jayila ala yinna menke kanama be kenyin bengo nyinto Nyina mwa senya sabanyanti Bari mtolo nga dadi seru nela Nyina mwenna senya fulanyanti kanyin juraro nyinke Nyin juraro mkake April 14 April 16 Ani May 9 Toyale kamba Bari ngamira Atamita walale Bawo stroglo menketa Nyun lungolu Walele stroglo kumfa Bari ngakalamda kabiri 1996 Gambia dingolbe stroglo chekane Kajeko democracy and rule of law Aymurna nyimbanku nkang Oto mwol membe oke Fo nyimolu nate yowol kumfa Ngamira yin juraro nimba chekang Nka mira nka wabibu kala mutale Nka mura na hakilo yin konole Solo sande anko Wala mi solo sande aninga nyolu Menbeko La marong Menbeko Ibrahima Ibrahima solo koroma Menbeko Ibrahima sise Nyul mwole mwot meni alonko itambita Aning lamin manjang Menu tambita konyin kola Bar mwol meni alonko Ebe koma Alala kiti yato Ebe balu ring Hakilo ba wol fanan kane Ko wol fanan mu mwol meni alonko Yaje konyin konyin ketale Wol bebe konole Hanni itere manna jang Baila family natale Mbali betentula Mbali jayila Nikwe amela tali kang Gambela nikwe alemu Bim bebe jam bebe ni bebe ni bebe ni bebe kuyaring, anu bebe jura chekang, bebe dua chekang, kuni molo, alama alai aljana kallen ke kere kere iye, ntolme nu fana bebe jam, alama gambia banko, lafta ai Kenya mina, na nato fa alaswa timbandi, gambia siki bankuti, dunia si kaya geko, ati mu santi onto dunia jingkono. Democracy struggle Dao da ni ba chila Ika nata wale kama Tumando alabin na natuwa bajara lalaba timbandila Mbal tentula Mbal jaila Alla na jang Wasalamu ala baraka Thank you very much Alaji esdabo abaraka Ladies and gentlemen In our miss on the high table uh, we have a friend, uh, is a person who is a global citizen of the world uh, in the name of Reed Brody. Reed Brody is a human rights activist and he is called Human Rights Watch. Another name for him is called Dictator Hunter. Can you stand up, please? Um, maybe one day you will come to know him. <laughs> So he is hunting dictators. <laughs> so I know Gambia will not be an exception. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the singular honor to invite our former Vice President, Farmata Jalla Tambayang, who struggled for this country to be liberated, to come and make a statement for the occasion. <laughs> Thank you. 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring be parti di ngol fanam kontona be gambia di ngol be mi yalon ko ye nyotu nyim banko kan ni sanji mo ni flo be be kontona be duale fa ala siso jannatu firdaus la eh ni aje bi lota lota nyim fla bole katun eh may 14 and 16 kabrin solo sande ngol funtita Imam Funti Pati Kuola, Walati Naiman Sari Patiola, Ifunti Ta Gambia Leye. Mol Mi Yalong Koye Hakilo Soto, Bi Janyan Tafala Le, Katu Afata Banko Le, Afata Demokrasi Le, Anun Laftawo Demokrasi Le, Londila Nu, Gambia Banko Kang. Andu hanimbi demokrasi mukula timingu ya lonko amanke fenti miyaro abelori ne demokrasi katamale fujani demokrasi beta mala nyama gambia dumal be ye fanya demokrasi kono be la nyanto fanya demokrasi kono nte fatu matajalo tambajang be lo la le ye niodi mina fanya be niodi la wala le. Ni lo nyanta jura la le du gambian kol be le nyanta jura la ni tata banku to mal do le bi 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 nyanta medayo di la le hanna te ibe la kabulol kono nyanta medayo di le la le and in coalition coalition 2016 mi ya lon kon telo mala chiamano ti wo coalition 16 ye mira le kun ye mitino soto ye mira ka foko nyanta ni mansa kunda e kacha Pur juralo ya tambi juralo fana na asike fenti mi ya longo abe balu lale minu ya longo kui beleta inyanta medayo di le lale minu ya longo kui baluring inyanta medayo di la lale minu ya longo kui batata nyungu kono le inyanta fenne la mi ya longo kui tata le ila alpha ila dima ya minu tu koma wolfa na inyanta tupoto lale funding kewal ni aje kebal benya tu bi. Kaldan dan nederom, bari B atau lenyan telola. Alia nyow muta, alia nyow bunya, alia alfal bunya. Ntele ya maro watu watu walam alia alfal bunya. Kata social media tu, kafu ko ibe albe alfal kajafila, albe alfal kumo min kuo kunatal kona alba fula, woman ke siloti, mimo siloti alia lo. Alia doko ke, alia bunda kongkong, doko ya soto, alia doko ke, alia la alfal nafa, alfal ntolfa na bebe o nafa la kono. Katu nila dimbayan, alto lom to la dibayat. Muna digo mimbe min nafa la moya lo nebang. Mo ma lo. Woto lafta lepo ninkewol. Alia fulla aninfaida soto. Alia nenduro bula. Alsa alonko albota albe bota korda beto alto. Mbe ma la alfal leti. Ni aku sota ibe mifola, inyanta amira la le kuol mi ya lonka abe banku sambala nyato le bang, abe funding kuol sambala nyato ba, abe musol sambala nyato le bang. Alfa abe mimoi la ya wuli ya tewal city ya nini ya dia la, bara nali yenendo roke na meta abe fola alfa la le, nuna alfota alfa la alfota banku la le, watu mbedu wa la le, si maya ni jata kende ya, nuna kumu alkana moi yusola, nimbo cha jando na aleta social media. Alsa aku fahat pada tambahnya, baru cemal nale ti. Menurutkan nen social media, aku yang kanan mungkin ni mungkin nanti mal bikin lagi. Oh mama. Oh al mama. Al al fanyol ten nena, al banyol ten nena, al kotomanyol ten nena. Kadu mal be bikin lagi, mal la al fahat ti. Walau tidak mukalla nendirota.
adun kaboje fanante ba ma mo kanya la walti nien nen wala kan nasi wala fa wodo mbal tentu la mbal jalla mendi ma kontona lord mayor isi haketu imundi walti nyaa nyaa bari nyante bu nyaa lale yela pala sofa be duale be duala be alama salli ala ladies and gentlemen i think somebody is coming for wallop uh, i think nina mu keba ya nafati ah uh, keba kumata society society ya keba kumata jele ko do nyin kebal melialo yi ni la gambie o tilo la wato ndol fondi je jamal be je mantol je o do alne buña e be koku do na taraje so na lon ko bi nyol lo mu lol ti melon kan democracy bambandilem man naka udp bambandi man naka pati kilin sembento ya bari na rat gambe na la democracy la bambandi andu solo finti da nyin dalilo lo kan ana teri manyol andu aja farma da tamba jam fanam ani coalition no alfal be wulta men kan wolam nyin diko ka je ko gambe la democracy bambang ani never again alim be afo never again never again oto aja farma la tamba jam banko fondi jol be karafari fanam ma ka je ko alien tete alien samba silo kan silo me alon democracy be bamba na gambia abaraka no wore je ladies and gentlemen ben deputy party leader aji am seka mba fanam kuma la fanam se diamu suruwa kan la pour mbadin suruwa kan moy la fanam sa moy bi ñol lungo muna ma ala ala lo county jani jani mina aji yamu ndaw fanam be jani aji yamu ndaw manke motu mi ala men nuku nda gambe la strogo loto afanam be jani ane nogo njay fanam be jani mi ala victim la mu up to now see struggling you know to get better treatment but alhamdulillah kata ko de ke kan ne ka je ko ñul be tupo to la ñami be ma koy no la ñami so woto me na deputy party leader fanam commande la ay na commande mi fay mbadin kan suru wa moy lalle pour bi ñol lu meen bismillah ba <laughs>
di len ñaanal li ngeen buga ci reemu yeen ko yalla def ngeen bal ma aha ah thank you um debati party leader i think uh, in her speech she made a very strong recommendation uh, for the government to see how to support the victims because it's their fundamental right to have better treatment health treatment is their problem as you can see their face so it's a responsibility of government to support the victims so it's a strong recommendation to the um, to the government of the gambia to see how to support the victims of all the um, all the um, 10 April, 11 April, or 9 May. And another strong recommendation made by the former Vice President to have a Martyr Day. You know, a Martyr Day is going to be a day that we are going to remember all our fallen heroes and zeros. There are Hydra, you know, not only, you know, UDP victims, but all the victims of 22 years of brutality in this country. We should have a day for it. We celebrate it and we award them. Um, ladies and gentlemen, in our midst, we have the family of Solo Koroma, Lamaran, they are all present with us here. So we want them to also, we want to welcome them formally to the ground. The ground is our own ground. They are all welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we don't want to keep you here for so long. And uh, now we have the singular honor to invite the party leader. At first, he didn't want to make a statement here, but he's, he's so much interpreted if he doesn't make a statement here so therefore he should because he felt that you know today is a day for all the leaders all the party leaders are invited to this occasion whether formally or informal because it's a day of gambians so united democratic party is part of gambia it's gambian day so therefore we invite the party leader to come Yes, so Musa Asanko also is with us here, representing NRP, National Reconciliation Party. So, Honorable Mr. Lawyer Useni Dabo, you are welcome on stage. Your Excellency, former Vice President Ajaratu Fatmata Tambajang, the Deputy Party Leader and Secretary General of the United Democratic Party, our host, the Lord Mayor of Kanfin Municipality, our friend, the Dictator Hunter, Mr. Rodney, we recognize your presence. And indeed, we are gratified that you are with us today to celebrate and commemorate this very important event. The national, Deputy National President of the United Democratic Party, my fellow compatriots, today, we started our march from Tifagaras to this site. We did so because on Thursday, 14th April 2016, Solo Sandel left the UDP Manjai Bureau through Tipa Garas, where he was accompanied by a few people to join the rest of his colleagues at Bamboo to go on the Freedom March. It was a march that was akin to that of Martin Luther King. And today, 14th April, Sunday, 14th April, 2019, we are doing the same march to commemorate and celebrate Solo Sunday and others. And it's, it's significant that 14th April 2019 happens to be Palm Sunday. 
Palm Sunday was the day that the Messiah, Jesus Christ, went on the great march to free the world from iniquities. That was the day that Jesus Christ marched and he was subsequently arrested by a brutal regime in those days. Subjected to a mock trial and uh, subsequently crucified. It was the same thing that Solo Sandin and his colleagues did. They might came to this place. They were descended upon by a brutal regime arrested. He was brutalized and he died. For us, he was on that day crucified for Gambia. And as a result of his crucifixion, Gambia got liberated. We cannot do any better than acknowledge the immense contribution and sacrifices that Solo Sandel, Fatmata Jawara, Fatu Kamara, Nogonjai, Kafubayo, Falan Sonko, Momodu Ngom, Lam Marong, Ibrahima Janko Sisi, and a host of others. You cannot forget. Please, huh? We cannot really forget their sacrifices. The role of the participants on that day is long. But we cannot mention each and every one of them. On the 16th, there was the follow-up march by Alai Morisani, Kemi Sanjami, Lamin Diba, Femi Peters, and a host of others. 9th May, that was the Kalama Revolution, led by our gallant women who were prepared to go to jail, and in fact, some of them were arrested and subjected to some mock trial. It is the cumulative contribution of all these people, including Solo Koroma, who traveled all the way from Sandu, Daslami Sandu, to come here. It was their cumulative efforts that led to the liberation of this country, and we are grateful to them. Well, I want to tell the Sandem family, the Sona family, that their son, their brother, their cousin, has been in the forefront of this struggle. I have worked with Solo for more than 20 years. And I knew him to be a person of great humility. I knew him to be a person of great dedication. He was a person well focused with a sense of purpose. He has never betrayed anybody. It is often that people would betray him. But it is always the hallmark of an accomplished person that would never be deterred by betrayals. He always fought on and pushed on. Otherwise, the events of 14 April 2016, the arrestees would have been of a greater diversity. But it was only Solo and his UDP cohorts. Indeed, the event on that day was one embarked upon by Solo as a member of the United Democratic Party pursuing a national agenda and that's not, not that national agenda having been pursued by him and the rest of his colleagues 
leading to our liberation. I think that every Gambian should do it his own business to join that group in order to celebrate this day, in order to commemorate this day. But we have, we cannot really sit back and hoping that people will come and celebrate Solos victory or Solos um, accomplishment together with his colleagues. We have to be in the forefront and we will continue to be in the forefront of doing that. And we hope that in future, Gambians of all walks of life, Gambians of all religious faith, Gambians of all political persuasion will join us to celebrate this day so that it for it to be a national day but we will not in expectation that people will treat us a national matter and then we fall back and then we see it the day to pass away unnoticed uncelebrated United Democratic Party will be doing a great deal of disservice to Solo Sunday and the other several other people who are in this struggle. The several other people who were subjected to torture. You also you saw Mudungam Adi when he was being interviewed, when he's been interrogated, he was licking blood oozing from his body. You also got television. Those sacrifices that they have done was for the nation, not for UDP. And we would expect that everyone would join in the celebration. Just as Martin Luther King, although he was allegedly pursuing the cause for the black people of America, it was not for the black people of America, it was a cause, it was pursuit of justice. So was UDP doing. So we should all make it our business and not consider this as a UDP affair. We will come, we could come in our, in our yellow collar to demonstrate our unflinching affiliation with Solo Sunday. That is what it's all about. Today, the youth leader has stated, and this has been my vision and my ambition, that we will have, or we should have, a National Matters Day. We must celebrate the sacrifices of Deda Hydra. We must celebrate the sacrifices of Kaniba Kanye. We must remember Mr. Job and Mr. Sise, the Gambian Americans who disappeared from the surface of the earth when they came here on Gambian on holidays. We must celebrate the sacrifices of several other people, including my own nephew, and I say my own nephew because he is very close, very friendly to my son, Ibrahim Janko Sisi. We must celebrate their sacrifices and have to assign a day to that. But we will also continue to celebrate 14th May, 14th April rather, as the day that the great march to freedom, to the liberation of the Gambia, it was on this day that it was held. This evening, we will be having, this evening, we will be having a lecture. And the theme of the lecture is upholding our democratic, upholding the gains of democracy. And it is quite an appropriate theme because we have distilled a dictatorship and installed a democratic society. That is a great gain. How do you go about to uphold those gains? How do you go about to ensure that the, the gains of our democratic gains are not dissipated. I'm sure the, probably the speakers on today's event will give us the path that we should trod in order to ensure that those who sacrificed, those who were brutalized, those sons of ours 
who on the 10th and, 10th and 11th of April, at their flowering age, when their lives were suddenly brought to a halt. Some of them are still in wheelchairs, unable to pursue the careers that they want to do. So we must make sure that those people, they are suffering. The young ones who died at an early age, their death would not be in vain. And it is what will be told this evening that will give every Gambian an idea of what we should do. That is to say, I hope that we will be able to follow on their advice. Let me end by thanking all of you and to acknowledge with pride and immense happiness the presence of Aja Fatma Datambajam, face is the daughter of a Tanyalel. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing. For more than 40 years, for more than 45 years or so, I have never seen her act like a daughter of a Tanyalel. That is that surprises me. <laughs> All we need to hear about the of the Maybe before we, it's just that we have the choice service here, but otherwise, we would have got the video do here. <laughs> but I thank you all for your presence. And that let us continue to pray for our brothers who have gone beyond this jurisdiction, have translated into eternity. Let us continue to pray for them. And let their death be a lesson to us and let their death be our agenda that we must know why they died and we should not in any way make them their death to be in form of futile i see useno here i see elman and all of them we must make sure that they were often at a very early age why 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 and we should continue to search for that answer and if we do so we will definitely ensure that we will keep the agenda of these people alive i thank you all so an victim all melbe jang kabo baby aisala foka futa kafu bayoma ay mo be tantu ay jey anin solo la family the foundation ka tandi la ko mon lal mudi melialon imam fisiri wala imam tuje andum yalon na solo fata dalilo men kan andu be tantan na wala no bodo jay content ro di so I tend to roll for the uh, Molika Melialo B. Ibodela Bumolko no Kafuta Jan Katendiko Nimu Banko no quality. But ha UDP de is a two no coma, Nin Solo Sande Kobe caring. For a tembi nyato because Nimu okay, what a solo jule will be terlela. Kandun kulu in atta tenyame. What will come be Nimu moe moje UDP in the Mukodum. O tembi tenyato. What a solo solo la kano anila badia. Wa kama wala wa sabu. But a manke nyintiko. Nto damma alta musoloti. But mandin kolo kong kanyanta but dola dola tabam or to be udp manke moti me along is solo lo ko ko yanta do yalaji no fanam bota je i tend to row futandi bake memu na forma vice president member ma be rinjang ko musola mo me along abe gambe lo ko dam malto ka je ko gambe ta nyaato bar jaxali clean na muta ko sanjita nan nim feng ama je kanyale ya manyala fombe may ko di la bar nalo church service le be jang non da kanyale donc lo do la le be sey ñola na mama ñola na lon kanyale ya diam menti mbadi wol mbal be tantu la mbal jela ben executive of canton na mel be be ma be rinja ni na honore bu lolu ani banko mo be ke la wato tiña ka ma be fenje jang pour ka je ko gambe la fonso to ta ñato woto gambe nolu alim be ya foko tenge never again never again power belongs to the people Power belongs to the people. And on the main case, you must have democratic right. Let it be assembly, the new Kachandi, the two new for new in Kana new Flindi. Fitino na bondinda maltema. We must pursue for justice. Justice delay is justice deny. Balbe tendula, baljela. On behalf of the youth wing, bafula ni ala baraka ali dangkuma. Ularo men tuta je wala mu. Ha, ularo men tuta je memorial lecture. Memorial lecture mbo kela Metis Hotel. 
opposite Maron supermarket. Thank you. Yes, yeah, medicine. Me, is it medicine? Yeah. Medicine. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, medicine hotel. So, mela flamu na na karan na bal bangko karan na na lo na na ole invite pruka diamu democracy la fanala. But jenin kada niya to modole daniro ke jang nse nse fidayo ke kuluwa kuluwa tanin killing na dua na saban de flole mel banda meli alom beat em fe jang nse dua ifu alse jang fake. Amin. Alma alai yang fakir. Ya balik. So no kau dijem besa uli. Jangan kau janji nana national anthem la bangkola kamforaya juru. After the count of three, one, two, three. Oda Gambia. Six o'clock. Ah, six o'clock. Hey, hey. Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from... Five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two years. Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325-9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. Hey, we have 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 we have
are you a music lover? Thank you. Uh, so you heard it there it was um, a, a range of speeches that were done by members of United Democratic Party, including their party leader, deputy party leader, um, here with me to talk about the memorial lecture of Mr. Solo and that will be held uh, later today at six. Uh, PM um, is Mr. Um, Honorable Suleiman Sao. He is the uh, National Youth President for the United Democratic Party. Uh, Mr. Sao, let's first begin. W what does this day mean for the United Democratic Party? Uh, this day is a day that will never be forgotten in our history. Um, it's a day of mourning. It's a day of reflection. The struggle that our party went through until our fellow was tortured to death. We can't bear the pain. We have to remember him. And we expect the government to award these people. No matter, even if they are in their graves, they should be awarded. Us as a party, we feel that we, we owe them a lot. And we want the world to remember them. And we want this day to be a national day. You, you think they should be recognized? Of course. Uh, and as a party, when we come to government, this is what we are going to work on first. To see that these people are recognized. The service that they have done for this country. Solo came out in pursuit for justice. Good electoral practices. But he was arrested. Which, this was his fundamental right. He was exercising his constitutional right. It has been stated in the constitution that every government has right to peaceful assembly, to demonstrate. To, to sow whatever you have. He was not having even a pen in his hand. Why, why, why should he be arrested? Um, Solo had campaigned for certain, uh, uh, I, certain ideals, such as the electoral reform. But also one of the laws that killed Solo, or that led to his arrest, is the Public Order Act. Yes. Um, and uh, this is still... This is still... Um, in place in this country. Yes. And the um, UDP was an active part of this government, so blame you for not yes. uh, prioritizing reforms that Solo deeply cared about. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, at the parliament, these are some of the things that we are trying to see how to change them. Uh, but sometimes we have uh, this obstacle of CRC being doing the review. So we thought it necessary not to preempt what they're going to do. So we, at the point we felt that the government would not be bold enough to exercise that order on anybody again. They understand, but as you said, it needs to be in the law. The, the law needs to be amended. We believe when the new constitution is reviewed, it will be brought before the parliament. And we will see this. We believe when they go out on consultation, many Gambians express this on platforms. We, they, if we need it to be amended. Inshallah, whether they put it there or not, as parliamentarian, it's our responsibility to amend it. And we'll do so. Tell us, um, what, what, I mean, when Solo took to the street, they were, uh, after uh, he was arrested, killed, this was what many credited as the, the, the post events that led to, that, that marks the beginning of the end of the former president, uh, Jamil. Yes. Um, uh, do you, uh, is there mechanisms within the United Democratic Party to, to sort of um, 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 teach the young generation of your party sort of national consciousness that could lead to, to, to people freedom. having their freedom? Yeah. Yes, Mustafa, you know, as I said, um, freedom is not a gift. 
So as a party, we have our youth meet. And this is the message that we send to them. They must be in charge of things. They don't expect freedom to come to their doors. They have to pursue for it. Freedom, you know, we have our fundamental rights that we are born with as human beings. If anybody wants to tamper with that, it's your responsibility to come out and challenge that individual. Hey, what are you doing is wrong. That's my right. It belongs to me. You can't take it from there. are rights that we are born with as human beings. And UDP as a party, these are some of the things that we are inculcating in the minds of our younger generation. To be in charge of certain things. To be watchdogs. Whenever they see any threat to justice anywhere, they should make an outcry. I've not seen any uh, state, uh, um, key state players here, like ministers or other institutional heads. Uh, do you have you people reached out? Have you yeah, people you, invited? No, because as I said, um, we try to target the religious groups. All right, we target um, some influential people, people who build interest in politics. But we didn't extend it to government because UDP is taking the lead. Extending it to the uh, to the ministers or to the uh, to, to the government, they might see it as we are trying to gain political popularity. But you you said you are trying to celebrate this as a national event, which yes. would which would make that's why we that's why in our speeches we have made a recommendation to the government. So by next year we are going to work on that. Do you understand? Recommendations, like recommendations, you know, for it to be a national event whereby the government. You know, will be part and parcel of it. Like the ministers that you're talking of, we will invite all of them. You know, though this year we didn't invite them. Unfortunately, we didn't invite them. But as a point to be noted, is next year we're going to invite even the president. Later today, you going, your party is going to, or the, the organizers of this event is, are going to hold a memorial lecture. Yes. Tell us what's going to be discussed there. What's going um, to happen? How to uphold the gains of democracy. How to hold the gains of democracy? How are you going to strengthen democracy? Uh, Mustafa, democracy is a process. We believe that Gambia, we have a long way to go. And it's high time our intellectuals come up and talk to the people in a language that they can understand. That this struggle is a struggle that we, it needs common effort. It's a struggle that needs to be continued. It's a struggle that you and I are part of. If there is no democracy, there is no media freedom. You will not be here talking to me or I will not be here talking to you. So this, these are going to be the, you know, the and who is going to be the one who will deliver a lecture? Yeah, we invited Sidi uh, Ajata to give a lecture. Unfortunately, he cannot make it. So the party leader himself is in preparation, in consultation with other human rights um, lawyers, you know, or politicians to be taking the lead. Thank you very much. Are you a music lover? Well, I love listening to music. I listen to almost all music genres. What kind of music makes you feel good? Join me on The Playlist, an entertainment show coming soon. We will be interviewing your favorite artists and people from different walks of life. They will be sharing with us their favorite songs on the playlist show. And we will also be talking about important entertainment topics. I will be your host, Sally Joe. This show is sponsored by EJ Investments. Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan an option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325 9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property.
ñewal ngay lef lexel ni ñewal ci fa lu gaw he he ay yo ñew na fi ci la ko mbagan clipa dang koy ci la mbagan bay la da ngay set sumu message bi ngir yaana ay bi ci dom bi la de bernard bu nega jamani mo la sen cash pe waturu kalilu.com eh kalilu.com matur ak santa la yow kan mo la waturu ak santa la ah ko lan mere yo xamu la kalilu.com lu moy def ci dega bi lan Cher bokal la wax ak ni mbolek mu nega ci bitim rew muy Europe ak America da ngay mëna jëna chef un crédit cash power money transfer yeb ci kalilu.com ngane ma xana ni eh em fofu la la bagal bi ah wër ko bi ñew ah eh muy xew hi xew xew jamono yeb da ngay mëna jëna online chaque mois nga jëna diwline nga jëna pompier ak ñima ñima ting ci yeb la la wax de grocerie in totality ñu ko bëssa bunti kër xana ni eh ko cho xamene tamit yow amulo mbok em bitim rew comme chama machine da ngay tok fi ni rek www.kalilu.com mu ñew indi la ko fesse bu ndike way gam ya ngi am li yeb mu la ko wadde ma nga dug ci bi rek dugal suma kaas pawa bi may leen mako kalilu ya bari dole kalilu ya bari dole kalilu ya bari dole Mr. Reed Brody um is a human rights lawyer working with uh, human rights watch Um he has been involved with Jambe to Justice campaign and he has been uh, working on uh, putting together finally a case that we hope would be a case that would eventually put Jambe away. Mr. Ribrodi, could you first uh, tell us what 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 you what your work uh, the state states of your work right now as you are trying to put together a case that would eventually well ultimately put Jambe away. Well, we right now we're doing a lot of things. First of all, we're working with the victims. I think what's remarkable is how the the victims, the families have come together in such a short time um to be a force. I mean, everybody here is talking about the victims, about the victims association, and I think that, you know, as as a building block that first of all is the most important thing is that we have people who are determined family members um people who themselves were tortured who are fighting for justice and so that's the, the first task in 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 bringing a dictator to justice is to ensure that the victims have a voice and the victims clearly in today's gambia have a voice and have a seat at the table i think that the trrc is doing an amazing job of building a record um and of captivating people i mean people here and i i'm abroad most of the time watching it on tv um we through we are every day brings new revelations about the crimes that were committed during yaya jamais period and so i think the trc is contributing in two ways first of all it's building that record of the crimes that were committed but it's also uh, showing uh, and 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 mobilizing public opinion i think it's very hard to watch people talk about having to drink their urine and 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 having to be, and being tortured the way they were tortured and not believe that justice should be done so i think you know we are moving forward obviously there are many difficulties yeah yeah jame is dancing on uh, parties with uh, obiang and we're going to need to uh ultimately uh create the political conditions so that even uh his dance partner Teodoro Obiang says you know what the people the countries of Africa want justice here we're going to let let that happen so you know what you think today more than ever we close to bringing Jambe to justice i think i close i mean it's not going to happen tomorrow um but i think we are building something that is going to be irresistible um and and so i'm very confident that in the medium term uh we will be able to create those both legal conditions and political conditions to see yaya jamay brought to justice you are one of those who have played a huge role in documenting the migrant the case of the migrants who have been killed in the gambia um there are some who say because of the countries involved the nationalities of the countries involved in that massacre like Ghana that probably has given us an opportunity 
to have a place where not just to try Jambe, but to have a country with huge resources behind his, the campaign to bring him to justice. What, what do you think of that? Yeah, th I think that's a very important point. Uh, in the 2005 migrant massacre, we had victims from Ghana, particularly, but also Nigeria, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Togo. And so I hope that uh, we will have many countries pressing ultimately to bring Yahya Jame to justice. We met with the president of Ghana, Nana Kufo Addo. We showed him uh, our evidence that these mi migrants were killed by the junglers. Uh, the one survivor of that massacre, Martin Cherry, um, a dynamic, uh, committed man, is, is going around Ghana now organizing the victims. And, um, you know, we, we, we hope that the, that the Ghana government will move on its own and take up this investigation. But certainly what we're doing is we are creating a, a pup sentiment, not just in Gambia, but in Ghana and in other places, uh, in Senegal. I mean, these mass... Yaya Jame used Casamance as his personal cemetery. I mean, the migrants are buried there. Um, Harun Jame is buried there. Many people who were killed are buried in Senegal. Um, so I'm hoping that we can create a, a regional movement uh, for justice. So you, you think by, by saying, uh, talking about sentiment, you, you're trying to mobilize public opinion within the region, not just political leadership. Yeah, I, you know, leaders follow. Uh, I think it, it's, very, it's very easy to just say, okay, this was the past, let's look at the, you know, let's, um, th there's always a tendency to forget the past. I think first, I think Gambia is not. I mean, we've seen that with the TRRC. Um, but really, these things rest on public opinion. They rest on, on, on the identification of the victim. Solo Sandeg, Data Hydera. I mean, how can, how can you say that their children do not have a right to the truth and to justice? And I think that's the core of any campaign for justice. So tell us, I mean, you've talked about TRRC uh, quite often in this interview. Do you follow TRRC? Sure. I mean, I can't follow it every day, um, but I, I watch it and, and then I read the summaries that I have people making summaries for me and I read about it in the newspaper and on social media. Do you think it presents uh, an opportunity in terms of, because it's also investigating the past crimes, an, an opportunity for us to easily document cases to, to, to bring Jambe to justice within a reasonable period of time. I think that's precisely what it's doing. I mean, we're hearing uh, not just from victims, we're hearing from insiders. Um, I mean, in most cases, of course, Yaya Jami was not personally involved in, in torturing somebody. Um, so you need to hear from insiders to say this is the order that was given. This is the connection. You, the crimes, everybody knows, well, not even. I mean, we're learning more even about the crimes themselves. But what's very hard in, in, in bringing and developing a legal case is showing the link between the man up here and the crimes that were committed down here. And I think that the Truth Commission is helping us do that. So, I mean, uh, you, you have been part of uh, bringing us an abri to justice. Um, uh, I'm so, and you are, you have already been working on the Jambe case for almost two years. Are there any connection that's helping you say, well, this will be easier perhaps, or is it going to be more difficult? Well, every, you know, every case is different, and, and, and um, this, you know, the Jambe situation has the particular challenge that he is in Equatorial Guinea. Um, on the other hand, the victims here are so far ahead of where the victims in Chad were. Um, I mean, we organized, we, when we started this campaign, we actually organized a meeting between the Chadian victims uh, and, the, and the victims here from Gambia. And, you know, it took the Chadian victims 17 years to bring him to justice. Um, but I think that here we're, 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 we're we're, we're far ahead of that. I mean, I don't think anybody... And also, there's a different expectation. 
When Suleiman Gengeng came out of Hissan Habre's prisons and said, I want to fight for justice, people said, what, are you crazy? I mean, since when has justice ever came to Chad? Now, people want to ask, how long is it going to take? There's an assumption that it can be done. And so that already, the belief that it can be done, um, helps mobilize people and keep them uh, you know, committed to a cause. How long might we be looking at? There are those who would say, ah, money can be blown, time can be blown. How much in our case would be looking at? You know, based on what you've seen so far. Look, I think everybody understands that it's going to take a few years. Um, you know, the Gambia today is not ready. I mean, when I have a meeting with, 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 with Gambians, with journalists, with students, I say, how many people want to see Yaya Jemmy brought to justice? And they say yes. And how many people think he should come right back right now today to Gambia to face a trial? Nobody says yes. The conditions don't exist yet. So I think that we're going to use this time, this couple of years, while the conditions are being created, um, to develop the legal, uh, uh, you know, the legal record, and so that you know, in a couple of years, when the TRRC finishes its work, hopefully, um, you know, we're looking now. What will happen after the TRRC? The TRRC will recommend that certain people uh, be brought to justice. Where will they be brought to justice? Um, perhaps we should. I mean, we're already, and the government is already talking about the need to create a special court with experienced investigators, with experienced people who, who have experience in international criminal law, so that there is a forum uh, to, to, to do this. But again, all of this will come together. The security conditions need to be here, the political conditions need to be here, the mental conditions need to be here. I believe strongly that it can happen, but I also believe it's going to take a couple of years. Thank you very much, Mr. You're welcome. Uh, that was, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Reed Brody. He's also called the dictator hunter. He's, he's one of those who have been uh, working to put together a case to bring the former president Yaya Jambe to justice. There is a, an, a coalition of civil society organizations that call themselves Jambe to Justice. And uh, Reed Brody is one of the key players on that coalition. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 so, I'm protest protest. But I'm UDP support. Uh, okay. Uh, so, I'm going to go to the CJ. I'm going to go to the CJ. I'm April 14, and April 16. I'm going to go to the CJ. Parce <laughs> I am a mother. 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 I that day, Sungu do have a lot of things. I have five siblings. I am going to play with them. Why? 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 Safe. We felt that in the summer, but in the middle of the slow camp, we felt the bad booty. We can't be telling the girl left to catch in case we know at another night. So, but it's not a mammoth. 
Okay. So, yeah, that was it. Um, there are a host of uh, people here. We cannot talk to everybody, um, but we would um, bring you live coverage for of the uh, memorial lecture that would also happen at a, a hotel at Mitzi Hotel um, at around six o'clock. So, until we uh, come your way that time, we'd we'll say bye for now. Thank you very much. Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325-9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property.